you know, the, the, the greatest thing in life, the greatest freedom is when you don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck what people think anymore. That's really freedom. Somebody asked me a long time, like, why don't you take a couple of months off training? I said, why don't you take a couple of months off sex? If you're going to work in your comfort zone, why is your body going to adapt? Muscle growth is an adaptation to a stress. So if you're used to this level of stress, your body's not going to change. If you can overcome that, it's going to be easier next time. And that's like life. If you're going to just fall and fall down, oh, this is a good chance you're going to do that next time and next time right. it comes. Don't forget this. It's about fucking hard work, man. It's about work. It's about sweat. It's not nice. You know, it's not shiny. It's not cosmetic. Uh, it's work, man. There's no special this, special routine, special diet, special that can get you out of the hard fucking work, yeah? If you don't like hard work, then really do something else, man, because this is, this is what it's about. For me, it was about a challenge in myself to push through that last rep, to know where is your limit. It was more than just building the body, it was challenging my soul is you know it's challenging everything and if it's not difficult where's, where's the challenge if you challenge yourself and you overcome then you feel good man you feel good man. that was like the impression that I always got like what you represented is the pinnacle of extreme dedication what can separate the guy from first and second and third it's it's all up there, that's, that's the key. The difference was really uh, mental, because sometimes when you have things coming a little bit easy, you're not uh, giving 100%. I give 110% all the time. I'm going to the gym to get results. So I'm going to do whatever it takes to get results. So my thing is I exhaust everything. We're going to go to absolute failure. But I had this drive and I had this system of high intensity heavy training which should have gotten me from a backstreet basement gym in Birmingham in England to be Mr. Olympia. You know, once your foot's on the pedal, on the gas, it's a little bit hard to take it off. I was always covered up, I wasn't doing it for anyone else. And Kind of like I didn't want to show anybody because it wasn't ready yet. It's like an artist with this painting. They don't want nobody to look at that shit till it's finished.